continuing now, Pet Pals TV, and we've got uh, Stewie <laughs> is having a little bit of the pool of water, and then uh, Mabel, Mabel is here, and Tom Doc. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do a little warning here, right, Tom? We are. So this is a G-rated show, right? Yeah. Uh, but you know, dogs eat and dogs need to poop. So parents, if you don't want your elementary school kids giggling for this whole segment, <laughs> you might want to send them away. But we're gonna talk about the back end of the dog. Yes, yes, and the problems that can ha right. happen. Uh, I didn't know this before. Before I got Mabel, uh, my Louie beforehand, and my Stewie now, no problems. But she had some buildup. And what we're going to talk about is anal expression of the anal sacs. The anal sacs, okay, right. Okay, what happened with her is I noticed she was pulling fur out from around mm -hmm. the back end. What, okay. what was going on there? Okay, so let's back up just a little bit. Okay. And the most common thing that we're going to see with dogs is just what you said. Licking at the back end, pulling it here, scooting on their butts. Booty scooting. Right, yeah. booty scooting. I like that. So... It could be the anal sacs needing to be expressed, right. but it could also be parasites, it could also be itchiness from allergies, it could also be uh, problems from diarrhea, and we're just sore back right, there, okay? Right, right. So let's talk about anal sacs, not okay. glands. It is on either side of the butt at four o'clock and eight o'clock. Four o'clock and eight o'clock. There are sacs that are lined with cells that produce a very oily substance. Okay. And that oily substance is excreted through a short tube to the outside when the dog defecates. Okay. okay so when the dog goes out and poops. Now, why? We don't know, honestly. So it's a calling card? Or it is, yeah, that's the, th the main theory, theory, is that it's a calling card. It's longer lasting than the urine marking because it can't be diluted by other dog's ah. urine. It's oil-based, and right. so it's gonna last longer. The other theory is maybe it's a lubricant, okay? So. And they can't talk, so they can't they tell can't us. They can't tell us, no. Now, there's no true age or sex, you know, risk factor. Okay. So all males, females, young and old, okay? Wow. But littler dogs do tend to have more problems like miniature poodles. And okay. remember what her mama was. Yeah, she has a poodle right, in her right. Yes, yes. And then uh, we see a lot in cockers and bassets and uh, uh, beagles as well. Huh. Okay. Yeah. And, and you told me cats. Cats too. Cats huh. do have anal sex as well. Um, cats, it's a little bit harder because they keep themselves so clean that you may not notice the issue. And then the first thing you notice is your cat's licking. They get up, their tail straight up, and there's a little hole called a fistula cool. right next to the anus. Okay, uh -huh. that's a problem. There's a lot of bacteria back there, so there's going to get an infection. And overweight cats, it tends overweight. to. Yeah, overweight, yeah, overweight dogs too. Overweight. Do oh. Oh, sorry, Mabel. <laughs> well, anyway, and this is something that I don't want to handle at all, let me tell you. So I go to the experts. Right. I go see your vet, right. and then you will express the... Right. So we express the sac, and it's just gentle pressure both from the inside and outside. So we actually have to put a glove on, lubricate a finger, and press from both sides. Okay. okay? That's the best way to do it. Thank you. Thank she you loves welcome. you anyway. You love me anyway. You, you're no kisses? <laughs> no no kisses. kisses. Not today. No. Well, puts a whole new meaning to that old song, you know, express yourself. Yeah. All right. With that, we will be back with more of Pet Pals TV. So call the kids back yeah. in. All right.